Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're here with another story. It is called Hello Kitty Presents the Storybook Collection. Little Red Riding Hood. Let's begin. Once upon a time in a village near the woods, there lived a little girl. Because she always wore a red cape her grandma made for her, everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood didn't get to see Grandma very often. She lived all the way on the other side of the woods. And the woods were dangerous. But when Little Red Riding Hood learned Grandma was sick, she decided to be very brave and pay Grandma a visit. Mama packed Little Red Riding Hood a basket full of cookies, soup, and other treats to take to Grandma. Then she tightened Little Red Riding Hood's cape, kissed her goodbye, and reminded her not to talk to strangers in the woods. The woods were so lovely and green. Little Red Riding Hood was enjoying her walk, when suddenly a wolf popped out from the bushes. Little Red Riding Hood was startled, but the wolf assured her that he just wanted to keep her company as she walked to Grandma's house. In the middle of the woods, Little Red Riding Hood saw a grove of beautiful flowers growing beside a tall tree. What a nice present they'd make for Grandma! While Little Red Riding Hood picked the flowers, the wolf scurried away to Grandma's house. Grandma heard the wolf coming and hid in her closet, just as the wolf burst through the door. Thinking Grandma wasn't home, the wolf decided to play a trick on Little Red Riding Hood. He put on Grandma's nightgown and glasses. He got into Grandma's bed and pulled the covers up to his fuzzy chin. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived at Grandma's house, he ran to Grandma's bedside. Even though it had been a long time since Little Red Riding Hood had seen her grandma, something seemed different about her. Grandma had such big eyes. All the better to see her with, Little Red Riding Hood supposed, and such big hands, which, Little Red Riding Hood thought, were probably good for hugging. But Grandma's mouth, Grandma's mouth seemed the strangest of all. Those teeth looked like they would gob a Little Red Riding Hood right up. Suddenly, the wolf jumped out of the bed, snapping those big teeth at Little Red Riding Hood. That's what was different about Grandma. She wasn't Grandma at all. Just then, a farmer walking by Grandma's house heard all the commotion. He rushed in and captured the wolf in a net, keeping everyone safe from harm. Grandma popped out of the closet and thanked the farmer. Feeling much better, she scolded the wolf. Grandma put the treats Little Red Riding Hood brought on the table. The farmer, Grandma, and Little Red Riding Hood ate cookies and drank soup. The end. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.